has been said that if you don't have peace, then you're not able to appreciate whatever else you do have in this life. Well, that's for sure. What is peace and where do you find it? Well, welcome to Morning Walk, where we discuss our walk of faith. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and giving us a thumbs up for this video and for sharing it with your friends. So what is peace? Well, all of us have a dictionary, of course, and we could look to the dictionary, which defines peace in the noun form as freedom from disturbance and tranquility. The synonyms of peace in the dictionary are peace and calm, restfulness, peace and quiet, and peacefulness. It's described as a, a state or a period in which there is no war or war has ended. Uh, a peacefulness or, um, or a harmony. Well, as wonderful as that is, there is much more to peace than that biblically. And that's because peace is the character of the God of peace. Thank God. And God's peace or God's character has been manifest in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is referred to and called the Prince of Peace. So we see that God alone is the source of peace for he is the uh, he is Yahweh Shalom. Um, now, there's no question that we all want to experience peace. Uh, the only question is, how do we experience peace? How do we experience the peace of the Lord? Well, that's pretty obvious. We have to be in relationship with the person of peace to experience his peace. And so, um, are you in relationship? Oh, I'm not asking if you're saved. I'm asking if you are walking in relationship because peace is only experienced relationally. And that's why only Christians, true Christians, can experience peace, the peace of God, which surpasses and uh, all comprehension and guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And certainly we are bombarded with all kinds of thoughts that would try to rob us of our peace, wouldn't, wouldn't we? And so the good news of peace is that it's divinely supplied. It's the supplied security and tranquility of the Lord in the midst of life, during the trials of life, even the craziness of 2020. You see, peace is the assurance that God is in control that he's able to rule our hearts and minds even when we are tempted with all kinds of uncertainties. We don't have to walk in anxiety or the opposite of peace, which is really chaos. And that's because peace is the fruit of the Spirit. Peace is always a result of God's grace activity. It's always a result of God at work. And as we participate with his indwelling presence of peace, we experience what only peace can produce, only God can produce. We experience both internally and externally what the fruit of the Spirit is doing. So what does the fruit of peace produce internally? Well, it produces the calm of our soul. His Peace calms our soul. We certainly need that, don't we? There are times where our souls are, are very agitated and on edge, and he can calm our soul. And the Prince of Peace also manifests his life externally. How does he do so? Through relationships with others. As we participate with him, we know how to have relationship with others, even in those very challenging relationships that we have. And so peace is the consistent expression of the character of God as we exercise our freedom of choice regardless of what we're facing. Let me leave you with the words of Jesus this morning when he said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give 
to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. So as you walk by faith today, walk in the confidence of the peace of God who loves you and experience life as God intended.